วัสดีค่ะสวัสดีเจ้า Hello and welcome again to Thai Girl Talk with Mia and Lonnie. Okay, Lonnie, today it's episode three. Three. Counting. Okay. Okay, Lonnie. Today I'm thinking. I want to talk about thank you. Uh mm-hmm. huh. I'm sure you know. I'm sure a lot of people know how to say thank you in Thai. Yes, but since I'm talking into a mic, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. ขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ That's right. Or ขอบคุณครับ If you are a man, right? So now, actually, in Thai, we use ขอบคุณขอบคุณ And we also have ขอบใจขอบใจ That's right. So what is the difference between these two? You use ขอบคุณ to someone that you Um, respect. It's a lot. It's a lot about respect mm-hmm. in Thai culture. So okay. you respect the person, or you really deeply appreciate what they have done to you. So it's the higher the level of thank you. It's higher. Okay. And with friends, for example, if my friends bring something to me, I say, "Oh, ขอบใจขอบใจ And friends or someone who younger than you. Ah, ah. So yesterday, um, my daughter's neighbor, she's uh, seven years old. Mm-hmm. So she came over and she brings some uh, the flowers that she makes at at uh, from school. Oh, oh she gave me the flowers. Mm-hmm. Now for me to say "ขอบคุณ that is not right at all. Oh, okay. The girl will feel like. No, this is not appropriate. So yes, you too much. Exactly. ขอบใจขอบใจ You say ใจ the younger one. Yeah. Okay. Then, if you make um doing something wrong, and you want to say sorry. Sorry. Uh huh. You. Are, I'm sure you know how to say it. t r y Uh, oh, ขอโทษค่ะ That's right. ขอโทษค่ะขอโทษค่ะอ๋อขอโทษครับขอโทษ Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. So all means the same thing. Exactly. All right. So you are, you are in a hurry, and you see people walking around, and you just need to go really fast, and then you say, "Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me." Say, "ทอดค่ะทอดค่ะทอดค่ะทอดค่ะทอดค่ะ That's right. ค่ะทอดค่ะ Now they drop the call, of course. Yes, because in, they're in a hurry. In they're in a hurry, <laughs> and sometimes the spoken Thai, ทอด That's right. Okay. Then, in the response of thank you or sorry, in English you say you're welcome, right? Anything else like? Uh, oh, in response to. to oh, like, to thank you. Thank you, for example. Yeah, I think it's an American thing. I don't right. think it's a Canadian thing. Or like it's okay, or never mind. Don't mention it. Yeah, right, right. Those kinds of oh, it's things. okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In Thai, we say "ไม่เป็นไร ไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไร You will hear this a lot. Mm-hmm. It's not only used for response to thank you. It could mean, for example, in a situation that you invite someone to the house and you say, "Oh, please have a seat here." They was they will automatically say "my p e n r i first. It huh. just comes so fast that they don't even think about it. They just don't want to trouble you. So they want to stand. <laughs> they, they will stand even though they want to sit. Right, but they, they'll say "my p e n r i They will say "my p e n r i So even though they say "my p e n r i do it anyway. Sit. <laughs> ah. Okay. So "my p e n r i and my also with uh. ขอโทษ right ขอโทษ Lani I'm sorry today I come late ขอโทษค่ะไม่เป็นไรค่ะ and I'm looking at her like her face doesn't look like it's not I mean it's okay she she look really mad but so, I'll say it anyways you say it anyway but of course I know anyway that you know I I was late so yes I say ขอโทษค่ะ we do this too In in English, yeah, yes, we do. We'll often say, "Oh no, don't worry about it, no problem," really? but we're mad because we had to wait. <laughs> yeah, 
We do that too. How can we be like, oh, I'm mad at you? Exactly. Yeah. We're not going to say, well, at least you're here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the other response of Kopkun, and this is a different word, Yindi. 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 Now, when you say Yindi, you really appreciate what they have done. You greatly appreciate it. It's similar to when you say it's my pleasure. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I say, uh, Lani, I'm really, really appreciate. Kop kun mak ma ka. That's to help me, you know, today. And Lani say, Yen di ka. Yen di ka means she she grateful to help. And my pleasure, darling. Exactly. <laughs> it is better than my pen dry. Mean my pen It's it's okay. No worries. No big deal. Mm-hmm. You know. But you say yin di ka or yin di k r a p Mean I'm glad to help. I'm I'm mm-hmm. glad to be helpful to you. Appropriate response. Exactly. And you you will see this a lot in a Thai. Ceremony, for example, like um, wedding ceremony, um, housewarming ceremony. Are they really call that? I'm not sure. Like when someone moving to the new house and they they, they perform the ceremony with the monks and inviting guests. Yeah, my mom called it an open house, but okay. I know she was probably translating it from Thai. Because it means different things in in English. That would mean like going to see a new house to buy. Ah, But we had an right, open right. house or housewarming uh-huh. to celebrate the new house being built. Okay, so housewarming should be a, a good way of uh, compare between housewarming and kun ban mai. Kun ban mai. Kun ban mai. Kun means you going up. Physically going up, for example, like going up the stair, going up to the car. So you're going from bottom level up, even though even an escalator, elevator. b a n m e a n house, my mean news. So you're moving in. Okay. The new house. Yes. So what happened here is, of course, you in, invite a lot of people to your party, but the invitations always come in the envelope. Okay. Um, it could be pink if it's a wedding. So this envelope, when you open it, you will see. Um, please, we invite you to come to celebrate the new house and this day and these hours. You know, will will be a party and everything. So and often they write the name in front. I mean, on the envelope itself. So you have yes. Lani c o x e l Okay, this is for Lani, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so I've seen that. Thai. This is a Thai culture. You are required to bring back this envelope. Take out the invitation card inside. Yes. Bring back the envelope. But you have read the invitation. <laughs> not the empty envelope, though. <laughs> you need to put a little something in it, which flat, <laughs> which money. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. So you put a little money inside. So you actually contribute and help with the party. Yes, I um, noticed this when my mom threw a housewarming party in l a m p o o n She told me to sit next to the bowl because I asked her, "What is inside the bowl? What's inside the bowl? Why do I have to sit next right. to the bowl?" And then I just like saw, you guarding it, right? right? Right. And then I saw all these people. Bringing money. Uh-huh. Sometimes they would have the envelopes, right? And sometimes they would just put just the, the money. money. But um, I was just so shocked. I was like, "Well, we're throwing the party. Right? Why are they giving us money?" Mm, that's right. And that's what we do in in Thai society, even now or before. Before in the old time, you might bring like um, rice, garlic. Depend on whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the form of cash or money. Mm-hmm. You Can just be food. exactly it could be food or drinks or anything that you make. Silk, if you your family makes silk, for example. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. So you always not, I mean, come with empty hand. You always have to find something that bring it. Even though you go to someone's house, even just the small party, just get together dinner. 
right? right? You should bring something. You bring something a little small thing. It doesn't have to be, you know, expensive. So they will say, "ขอบคุณค่ะ and then your response. Uh, ไม่เป็นไรค่ะไม่เป็นไรค่ะ and of course they will say, "Oh, you don't have to." You don't have to bring anything, but they appreciate if you bring something. Yes. And same thing with this housewarming ceremony, which um, you return with the envelope. And I have a story to tell. Um, when I was young, I I've seen my mom. She's yes, like I said, you have the name of the person on on the envelope, right? Mm-hmm. So when they return the envelope, yes. you know how much to give. Oh, <laughs> exactly. And she will write down the name of the person and how much this person. Oh dear! Gave. Really? And I like. Mama keeping track. <laughs> I know. Even though I'm like, Mom, why? Because this is what she said. She said because if they have a party, we will compensate in the ex- cr- appropriate rem- amount. Right. Yeah. Or more. <laughs> Or more. Or right. More right. Than what they give. So this is the support culture here. People help out each other in mm-hmm. Thailand, and that's a really strong part of Thai culture as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure mm-hmm. if that's um, if that's just an if that's an Asian thing in general, mm-hmm. because there's a lot of Asians in Hawaii. So, I was always told to bring something to a party, right. and there are times where I won't go to a party because I have nothing to bring. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Well, always. If you're visiting a Thai house or seeing a Thai friend, always bring something. Bring small. something. Yes. So depends. Um, if you're just friend, you can bring a little thing. Or if you are in a relationship, you can bring a little bigger things. <laughs> It's up to you. Yeah. But yeah, just a little that you show them that you have, you they are on your mind. You have thought of them, and you you happy to see them. Yes, and you're happy to contribute because I think the idea is the next time they will contribute to you. Right. So it's this reciprocal relationship. Exactly. Okay, guys, I'm sure you have enjoyed our podcast, and until the next podcast, today it's time to say goodbye. Oh, oh, it's just 15 minutes. We seem like we can talk for an hour. <laughs> well, well, let's take a break here and. Again, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave it on the on our blog. Yes. Okay, and be right. sure to answer it. Okay, okay. Pokemon Mika. Pokemon Mika. Take care. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ